Okay, it is time to practice reciting the books of the Bible. We do this every week in Children's Church. Does anyone know why? If you said that it's easier and it makes it quicker to look things up in the Bible, if we have the books of the Bible memorized, you are right. And that is why we practice. I'm going to put a chart up on the screen for those of you who need help. And you can follow along with us. In class, we shout out the books of the Bible. If that's not going to bother mom and dad in the house, you can definitely do it while you watch the video. Otherwise, you can just say it with me. Are we ready? Genesis. Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, 1st and 2nd Samuel, 1st and 2nd Kings, 1st and 2nd Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Job, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, Malachi, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, Romans, 1st and 2nd Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, 1st and 2nd Thessalonians, 1st and 2nd Timothy, Titus, Philemon, Hebrews, James, 1st and 2nd Peter, 1st, 2nd, and 3rd John, Jude and Revelation. Very good, guys. Now we're going to look up a few scriptures and we are going to do a sword drill, which is a fun race to find it. If you don't look things, know how to look things up in the Bible, that's okay. I will help you out. If you do know how, you can just race while I'm reciting it with everyone. To make it fair, we always put our Bibles up on our heads so no one can cheat and look ahead. So I'm going to say the reference that you kids can race to look it up, okay? Are we ready? Psalm 14.3. Go. Okay, so if you don't know how to look things up in the Bible yet, you can just open your Bible to any page. And up in the top corner, you can see what book you are in. Okay, so I'm going to show the chart with the books of the Bible in it right now. I have the book we're looking for, Psalm, circled in yellow. And all the books before the book of Psalm, I have circled in green. All the books after the book of Psalm, I have circled in red. If you see the, if you see the book that is in the corner of your page is green, you want to keep moving forward in the Bible. If you see the book in the corner of the Bible that you're looking at right now is red, it means you went too far and you want to go back. Once you find the book of Psalm, Psalm up in the corner. Then you can start looking for the chapter. We're looking for chapter 14, and you can either look up in the corner or you can look at the big number on the page, which it looks like I am on 119. So I need to move back to find 14. I keep ending up in Job, and then I have to go forward more. So here we have Psalm, the big 14, that's the chapter. And we want to find the small three because that is the verse. So we go down, 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 down until we have the three. Okay. Did everybody find that? The kids who already knew how to look things up. Were you already there? I bet you were. So now we're going to read this verse. Okay. It says, but all have turned away together. Everyone has become wicked. There is no one who does anything good not even one. So we're talking a lot today about how the law shows us if there's something in our heart we can fix. And this is one of the verses that tells us we do sin and we do make mistakes. So next up, we're going to do another sword drill. Are you ready? Bible's on your head. Ready? Romans 3.23. Go. So you're looking for the book first. I'll put up the chart again. I'll have the book of Romans in yellow the books before it in green and the books after it in red. So here we have Romans. Now we have to look for the big three, the big three. And then we have to follow down under there till we find verse 23. Everybody have it. If you don't have it yet and you want to follow along, you can push pause on the video. If you just want to listen, that's okay too. 
If you're reading along, your version might be a little different. I'm using the New Century Version. It's a third grade level Bible. Romans 3, 23. Everyone has sinned and fallen short of God's glorious standard. So we have a lot of verses <clears throat> telling us that we have sinned. And I keep repeating it in this lesson, and I probably will as we go on. But the whole reason we have the law is to show us that we're sinners so that we know we need Jesus. It's not to make us feel bad. It's not to make us feel guilty. It's not to even make us dislike ourselves. That's the last thing God would want. He loves you so much and he wants you to love yourself. The reason we need to know that we are sinners is so that we know we need Jesus. He loves us so much. He wants to be in each of our hearts. But if we think we're perfect, if we don't understand that we're sinners, we wouldn't ask him in our hearts. We wouldn't see the point of it. So that's the whole reason we have the law.